All right, guys. Real retro talk here. Keeping it real, keeping it retro. 1989. So I completed this build. Made it about a mile before I had to retension all the spokes, tighten up the bottom bracket, and uh, replace the seat binder bolt with the stock XT lever. Was not getting enough torque on that. The seat post was rotating. And some things that, uh, you know, real OG bike collectors like myself have to deal with when you're talking about, you know, 20 year old brake pads. So they're tight all right, but you know, the rubber's degraded. It's like the, the, the uh, rubber pad rotates on the post. You know, I couldn't have foreseen that. Um, didn't have a 10 mil, man. You know, shit gets real out here when uh, you're test riding a vintage MTB. But, you know, okay, so the first takeaways are positive. So it rides great. The, uh, you know, infamous bottom bracket flex is evident a little bit. But, you know, you have to look for it. And what are you comparing it against? So this is before suspension frame. So this is just everyone had a hardtail and there were aluminum hardtails. And so, you know, you were splitting hairs. Oh my gosh, a half inch uh, chainstay length difference or, you know, half a degree uh, seat tube angle or, you know, whatever. So yeah, there's a little uh, bottom bracket flex. Is it noticeable compared to like say a Klein? Well, yeah You know Klein's have very literal little lateral flex Klein's put the power down Like no one's business when you're 19 years old and racing uh, expert cross-country races in 1993 um, So, you know, and this would have been a pound or so heavier and a little slower But it is really comfortable the rear end feels compliant it's got a steel seat post and so they were doing a lot of things right on these 80s bikes and then this is an 89 and then they abandoned those wonderful things right away like this bike came with stock handlebars that are actually 24 inches wide later in as soon as the early 90s hit handlebars were coming like 22 inches just narrow saving 20 grams then you're putting bar ends on too and you were effectively riding a 21 20 and a half inch bar i mean it's absurd to think of how narrow bars got 530 millimeters 500 millimeters i mean i want you to just think about that for a second when people are actually riding 800 mil bars now so and another takeaway bar ends they're awesome. I mean, nothing climbs up steep little attacky sections on super steep old school trails on the uphills and nothing fights up those switchback, super steep switchback climbs like a 26 inch hardtail. Um, and when you got this tight rear end and these bar ends and you're up out of the saddle on these uh, gorgeous Hutchinson Cougar tires that are just soft compound and just yummy. Man, you know, a flat bar and bar ends. It gets to the top first, guys. So, yeah, you know, bikes are all about having fun now. These bikes were about cross country. And, uh, yeah, so overwhelmingly positive. I'll do a few more reviews. Um, what a beautiful bike, man. What a beautiful bike. What a beautiful survivor. I'm glad that uh, an older guy bought it when uh, it was new and not somebody for their kid to go be able to jump and uh, break it. So we're gonna ride this around. We're gonna keep it real. We ride retro. And um, yeah, that's how I'm getting it done. All right, thanks for watching.